Many hunter-gatherer societies rely heavily on projectiles as weapons, and they can also be powerful tools. Indeed, hunting and warfare influence the evolution of throwing, with the latter being especially important. When humans are threatened or begin a fight, we instinctively reach for rocks to throw. Humans lacked natural weapons such as claws, so if you threw stones and spears well, you were more likely to survive and pass down your genes to future generations. According to new research, early humans evolved the ability to throw approximately two million years ago, and humans are the only ones who can throw at very high speeds with great accuracy. Ice Age hunters were skillful, highly efficient, and used an arsenal of different wooden weapons. They likely also used these weapons to hunt other apex predators, such as extinct European jaguars, cave lions and cave bears. Human hunting is a fascinating problem, and the fact that all of these features appeared before Homo erectus evolved suggests that hunting may have been a selective force for throwing ability. The emergence of weaponry, technology designed to dispatch prey, marks a critical but poorly understood milestone in human evolution. It is an important behavioural marker that reflects evolutionary changes in ecology, cognition, language and social behaviour. While the earliest weapons were often thought to be handheld and thus short-ranged, the subsequent appearance of distance weapons marked a significant development. Long-range projectiles are regarded as an improvement over contact weapons, and some believe they originated with our species during the Middle Stone Age and Upper Paleolithic periods. However, new evidence shows that over 300,000 years ago, hunters used various high-quality weapons such as throwing sticks, javelins and thrusting spears in combination. The development of weapons or technology intended to take down other living creatures marks a crucial but poorly understood turning point in human evolution. We have always depended on tools and technological advancements have allowed us to increase our capabilities. Thus, Knowing when we first acquired the ability to dispatch prey from a distance is a dark but crucial point in our history. Experiments with modern athletes, as well as fossil and modern skeletal measurements, date humanity's unique ability to throw to two million years. The three anatomical shifts in the upper body that we discovered influenced throwing performance were first observed together nearly two million years ago in Homo erectus. At the same time, we see evidence of increased hunting activity among our hominin ancestors. In fact, the ability to throw quickly and accurately evolved as an adaptation to help our ancestors become more successful hunters. Without advanced weapons or technology such as bows, atletals or snares, which were not invented until relatively recently, our ancestors were most likely hunting with rocks and sharpened wooden spears. The ability to throw such simple weapons quickly and accurately would have given hominins a significant advantage in hunting dangerous prey from a safe distance. Recently, a group of Neanderthal experts made a significant discovery, and we can now understand how a primitive form of the human species managed to engage in hunting in Europe about 300,000 years ago, proving that they were more highly developed and sophisticated than previously thought. Once thought of as the inferior cousins of modern humans, a study by archaeologists dispels this notion by demonstrating that Neanderthals produced weapons sophisticated enough to strike from a distance. The oldest wooden spears date back 400,000 years to Clacton-on-the-Sea in the UK and 300,000 years at Schöningen, Germany. The fabled Schöningen spears from Germany, the oldest weapons in human history, were unearthed in 1995 and they've continuously offered fascinating insights into the behavior of our early human ancestors. The chances of finding Paleolithic artifacts made of wood are normally zero. These discoveries spark debate about how important throwing was for humanity's ancestors. Until recently, many researchers believed that these ancient Pleistocene spears were too bulky to be thrown far, rendering them ineffective projectiles. The first experiments demonstrated that such spears could not accurately hit a target when thrown from distances greater than 16 feet. As a result, the reasoning went, they were likely thrust rather than thrown. However, a new study demonstrates that Neanderthals would have been able to use wooden spears as weapons far away. Given that earlier research assumed Neanderthals could only hunt their prey at close range, the discovery is significant. 
The fact that the spears can now be thrown twice as far as previously thought shows that Neanderthals had the technological capacity to hunt both up close and far away. Scientists previously thought that the Schoningen spears would have difficulty moving at significant speed due to their weight. What's more, the Schoningen spears show prehistoric advanced woodworking. The Schoningen spears, ten wooden spears made from spruce tree trunks that were discovered at the site and measure between 6 and 7.6 .6 feet in length. According to a report, they were shaped and sharpened using stone tools, displaying exceptional craftsmanship for the time. The understanding of prehistoric human behaviours has been completely transformed by the discovery of these wooden weapons. Amazingly, these prehistoric people showed a propensity for advanced planning, a thorough understanding of the characteristics of wood, and numerous highly developed woodworking techniques that we still use today. The Schoningen people used a spruce branch to make this aerodynamic and ergonomic tool. The woodworking required a number of steps, such as chopping and stripping off the bark, shaping it into an aerodynamic shape, scraping more of the surface, seasoning the wood to prevent warping and cracking, and sanding it for easier handling. This reveals their advanced arboreal and technical knowledge, which is also evidenced by their use of plant-based medicines and making tar from birch bark. They may have also used a leather sling to propel their spears like a javelin, which is similar to using an atlatl. In fact, the spears gave important insights into the hunting habits and technological prowess of early human ancestors. These spears' discovery suggests that the extinct human species Homo neanderthalensis was capable of intricate planning, effective hunting techniques, and group coordination. It also suggests that they were able to create and employ sophisticated tools. This study is important because it adds to a growing body of evidence that Neanderthals were technologically astute and had the capacity to hunt big game through a variety of hunting strategies, not just risky close encounters. It helps to reframe Neanderthals as our capable and intelligent cousins. However, the research demonstrates that the much stronger Neanderthals had the ability to throw them quickly enough to produce enough kinetic energy to hit and destroy a target. Neanderthals probably evolved their ultra-human physique due to lifestyle, genes, climate and diet factors, suggests a study published in the journal Archaeology, Ethnology and Anthropology of Eurasia. Indeed, remains of an early Neanderthal with a super-strong arm suggest that Neanderthal men were heavily pumped up on male hormones, possessing a hormonal status unlike anything that exists in humans today, according to the study. One of the Schoningen spears, a double-pointed wooden stick that was scraped, seasoned, and sanded before use, is said to demonstrate that these early humans were master woodworkers. Past experiments have shown that throwing stick size can reach speeds of 98 feet per second and perform effectively from upward of 300 feet away, depending on the skill and strength of the thrower. Throwing sticks might have also been used to chase swiftly moving small prey like hare and birds, that were difficult to catch in other circumstances. These throwing sticks were likely launched rotationally, like boomerangs. The high velocity at which these weapons could be launched would have produced powerful and deadly impacts, despite their light weight. Due to the artifact's resemblance to other examples of this hunting tool from studies of Aboriginal Australians and African tribes, the research team came to the conclusion that it was a throwing stick. Scientists performed a stickware analysis to determine the stick's purpose. As a result, the different impact marks and damage on the artifact were identified, and their patterns were compared to those on other throwing projectiles used to dispatch game. The research team used this to demonstrate that the wooden object was almost certainly a throwing stick used during a hunt. The throwing stick provides evidence of the advanced hunting skills and technological sophistication of early hominins in northern Europe. They are effective weapons at different ranges and can be used to drive the larger game, such as the horses that were dispatched and butchered in great numbers in the Schoningen lakeshore. This study showed how the maker of the throwing stick used stone tools to cut the branches flush and then to smooth the surface of the artifact. The revelation that the enigmatic object is a throwing stick is somewhat novel and advances our understanding of the spread of this hunting technology. 
understanding the evolution of hunting is made easier through research on the throwing stick. Multiple weapons were used by early humans, and this made it possible for them to survive in a setting that might otherwise have been extremely harsh and unforgiving. As stated, this demonstrates that they were more technologically sophisticated and advanced than is generally accepted. Hunting, and by extension throwing, had a significant impact on our ancestors' biology and way of life. The addition of high-protein meat and calorie-rich fat significantly improved the quality of our ancestors' diet. These extra calories enabled our hominin ancestors to develop larger bodies, brains, and have more offspring. Each of these changes had a significant impact on our biology and are critical to shaping who we are today. For example, a larger brain is thought to be important for our cognitive abilities, such as language development. Hunting also altered our ancestors' interactions with their surroundings. Surplus meat from a large beast could be shared or consumed over several days, freeing up time for other activities. As our ancestors became more reliant on hunting, they were free to move into new environments where there was previously insufficient food resources to sustain them. This ability to adapt and thrive in new environments would have been critical as our ancestors spread around the world. The evidence demonstrates that Neanderthal behavioral flexibility closely mirrors that of our own species, and that distance hunting was likely within the repertoire of hunting strategies of Neanderthals. This is yet more proof that the evolutionary and technological gap between Neanderthals and modern humans is closing. And with that tantalizing statement, we leave you to ponder the mysteries of our shared human history. Until next time, stay curious and stay questioning. Please subscribe, share and explore our channel's other highly compelling videos.